I am thrilled to welcome our next guest, Dr. Jill Biden. She's a New York Times bestselling author, mother, grandmother, teacher, and former second lady of the United States. She's currently on the campaign trail with her husband, former Vice President Joe Biden, and she's written a new children's book called Joey, all about his life growing up. Dr. Biden, thank you so much for joining us. And, and we know normally you'd be out on buses, you'd be on planes, crossing the country for a campaign, campaigning with your husband. But this pandemic, it's forced all of us to pivot. So how has the virtual campaigning been going for you? Well, you know, it's been going, it's been going well, but like you said, we're so used to, you know, meeting people in crowds and on rope lines. And now we're here in our home in Wilmington, Delaware, and uh, Joe is on, you know, in one studio talking on Zoom, and I'm in another studio that we've created talking on Zoom. So it's totally different, and we miss being out there. Yeah, you, you missed that live energy from people, I'm sure. And, yes. and, and your husband said he will pick a female to be his, be his running mate um, in the presidential election. Or do you have any, any input in his choice? Well, you know, I, I would hope he would listen to me and uh, get my advice, but it has to be his decision. You know, he said that uh, he wants a relationship like he had with Barack. No one knows better than Joe does about the role of the vice president. And um, they respected one another. And at the end of the day, you know, Joe is the last one in the room to, to give his opinion. And I think that's what matters, that they share the same values and that they have the same uh you know, vision about governing our country. And do you have any idea, do you have, when we could expect an announcement, you can be exclusive right here, right now on GMA, yeah. it would be no problem. You know, Michael, that's a good idea. Should I go get Joe? Yeah, go get him, tell him, <laughs> just give, give the name and we, you know, just give it out right now. Wake him up, get up, Joe, come on down. <laughs> I, I, I had to try, I had to try. And now we wanna talk I, about your, your children's book, about Joe's you. life. What made you uh -huh. want to tell his story in this way? Well, you know, everybody sees Joe, these young children see Joe on TV, and I want them to know Joe as a child because he has, he was so brave and adventurous and um, he had, you know, it was such a good story. He never refused to dare. But, you know, Michael, he also was a, a little boy who stuttered and um, he had to overcome hardship. And I want children to realize that even if there's something that you're you're dealing with or struggling with, that you know you can be success. You can be or do whatever you want to do. And Joe's story is an example of that. Story that resonates um, to all of us. And you say it includes never before told family stories about Joe's childhood. Could you tell us one of those stories right now? Sure. Well, one of the uh, things about Joe is that um, there was a, in Maloney Field in Scranton, where he grew up, there was a, uh, a flagpole. And so Joe was the only kid in the neighborhood who could shimmy up that flagpole and reach the top. And actually, um, Joe didn't even remember that, but he got a letter from a, a childhood friend, Bill Kotzwinkel, who wrote E.T., and he talks to Joe and he says, um, he writes this beautiful letter to Joe about how he remembers him. And he said, um, the only one able to reach the top of the flagpole was you. And so I shall, and he says, I shall always see you there conquering the last few feet and then turning to wave back down at us. And I think, you know, that's Joe. I mean, he always took the challenge and the refrain that I have in the book is, give me the ball, give me the ball. And I think that there's no better time for that, you know, to apply than this time when Joe's saying to the American public, give me the ball, let me handle this. Let me take these burdens off your shoulders and put them on mine. And um, so it's the story of challenge and overcoming hardship and fairness. And, and wanting that responsibility to handle it yourself. Now, how much input did Joe have while you were writing this book? Was there anything that he wanted to put in the book that you didn't? No, this was my book. This was my book. So, <laughs> you know, he let me write the book and tell the stories. And uh, I talked to him about his childhood. I talked to his brother and sister. I called his uh, childhood friends. And, um, and then I came up with the themes that I wanted to portray, what I wanted America to see about my husband and who he is, who he was as a child and who he is today as a man. And how do you think kids of the day are gonna to relate to Joe's childhood story? 
I think those, I think children today can see, like I said, the hardships that he overcame, that he stood up to bullies and he always fought back and he took control and, um, and he fought for others, you know, with fairness. I mean, he got involved in politics, uh, because of the civil rights movement and, and still, he's still fighting today for fairness. And I, I want people to, I want young children to see who he was as a child and how he's, you know, such such a great leader. Well, Dr. Jill Biden, thank you so much for, for sharing your book with us. And congratulations to you and Joe. You just had your 43rd wedding anniversary yes. a week and a half ago. Congratulations to both of you. And thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Michael. Thank you. Joey, the story of Joe Biden is available everywhere right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.